Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel quotes, Nothing great in the world was accomplished without passion. We learn from history that we do not learn from history. To be independent of public opinion is the first formal condition of achieving anything great. Genuine tragedies in the world are not conflicts between right and wrong. They are conflicts between two rights. Evil resides in the very gaze which perceives evil all around itself. What experience and history teaches us is that people and governments have never learned anything from history. Or acted on principles deduced from it. Truth is found neither in the thesis nor the antithesis, but in an emergent synthesis which reconciles the two. Only one man ever understood me, and he didn't understand me. Education is the art of making man ethical. The valor that struggles is better than the weakness that endures. Too fair to worship, too divine to love. When liberty is mentioned, we must always be careful to observe whether it is not really the assertion of private interests which is thereby designated. People who are too fastidious towards the finite never reach actuality, but linger in abstraction, and their light dies away. Once the state has been founded, there can no longer be any heroes. They come on the scene only in uncivilized conditions. An idea is always a generalization. And generalization is a property of thinking. To generalize means to think. America is therefore the land of the future. Where, in the ages that lie before us, the burden of the world's history shall reveal itself. We may affirm absolutely that nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion. History is not the soil in which happiness grows. The periods of happiness in it are the blank pages of history. Art does not simply reveal God. It is one of the ways in which God reveals. And thus actualizes. Himself the state of man's mind, or the elementary phase of mind which he so far possesses, conforms precisely to the state of the world as he so far views it. World history is a court of judgment. The length of the journey has to be borne with, for every moment is necessary. History in general is therefore the development of spirit in time as nature is the development of the idea is space. What is reasonable is real. That which is real is reasonable. No man is a hero to his valet. This is not because the hero is not a hero, but because the valet is a valet. Propounding peace and love without practical or institutional engagement is delusion, not virtue. When we look at the world rationally, the world looks rationally back. The one who merely flees is not yet free. In fleeing he is still conditioned by that from which he flees. By nature man is not what he ought to be. Only through a transforming process does he arrive at truth. Uneducated people delight in argument and fault-finding for it is easy to find fault, but difficult to recognize the good and its inner necessity. Every consciousness pursues the death of the other. Thinking is, indeed, essentially the negation of that which is before us. Wickedness also resides in the gaze that perceives itself as innocent and surrounded by wickedness. It is easier to discover a deficiency in individuals, in states, and in providence, than to see their real import and value.
Art is the sensuous presentation of ideas. It is hard to see why we should not turn round and mistrust this very mistrust. Should we not be concerned as to whether this fear of error is not just the error itself? The very fact that something is determined as a limitation implies that the limitation is already transcended. Everything turns on grasping and expressing the true not only as substance, but equally as subject. Should we not be concerned as to whether this fear of error is not just the error itself? The important question of how poverty can be remedied is one which agitates and torments modern societies especially. Lacking strength beauty hates the understanding for asking of her what it cannot do. It is solely by risking life that freedom is obtained. What is rational is real and what is real is rational. History teaches us that man learns nothing from history. Devotion, a state of mind in which it refuses to occupy itself any longer with the limited and particular. By crowd of frenzied females. The nature of finite things as such is to have the seed of passing away as their essential being. The hour of their birth is the hour of the death. Each consciousness seeks the death of the other. I have the courage to be mistaken. What is familiar and well known as such is not really known for the very reason that it is familiar and well known. 